So this is the next uh, project of this winter. I've uh, had this tractor for a couple years now. I haven't used it in a while. It's a uh, 1959 International B275. Um, pretty sweet unit. It's my first tractor. It's got a cab on it, just homemade, but it's a slick unit. Um, I need to put a proper seat in it because this one's not really mounted down very well but yeah it's got uh everything's kind of been fucked on this thing like everything's been screwed around with it but it's a four speed with high and low high and lows right here there's your low there's your high um yeah it's good unit but the problem i'm having with it is is that it's leaking diesel into the crankcase so my suspicion is is that it is this little lift pump here on the side of the injection pump and they are fucking hard to find you can't buy them new like pretty much anywhere i don't know there's other you can't buy them new from international or anything they're all discontinued but um there is other brands i believe there's a bosch replacement but me and me i ended up buying a whole nother tractor for a bunch of different parts but mainly the injection pump and that lift pump so i'm going to be going over there to pull that off and then once the springtime comes i'm going to be dragging it home but you can see the oil is supposed to be like fuck it's hard to see if the oil is supposed to be like here and it's way up here and it's it's diesel like i i know and i, ch I changed the oil in a while ago and used it for a bit and then after sitting for like a week or so it was full right up to the top again so my suspicion is it's either that lift pump on the side or it is the um the injection pump le leaking into the uh the front cover so either way if my injection pump needs real resealed hopefully this uh one i'm snagging off the parts tractor is good and then i just need to put a seal in between the injection pump and the front cover but I'm going to try to lift pump first because it's much easier. But anyway, I'll be going over to film that and I'll uh, take that part off and then I'll uh, get back to you when I get over there. So I'm just on my way over there now. I uh, just left, uh, just had to go to town, take out some money. And uh, yeah, I'm just driving down the road there. They live right just up the road from me and uh, pretty good for... Uh, helped me out with parts and whatnot it's the guy i bought my seven threes off my seven three off it was his, it's his brother who i bought this tractor off and uh yeah i'm just driving over there now and i'll be uh i'm, I'm wondering whether i pull the injection pump off or if i just pull that little pump off the side i'm thinking i might just pull that little pump off the side for now and because it's about one in the afternoon and i want to i want to be done before it's dark you know and shit always goes wrong for me whenever i'm working on shit by myself in the snow so we'll see how it goes anyway i'll get back to you when i get over there and get wrenching on it so this is the parts tractor i'm out here in the, the boneyard here just gonna steal this little lift pump here off it it's just three bolts and a banjo nut on either side so i'm gonna be taking it off and uh come back for the rest of it in the spring yeah so I got her undone, there's just one bolt on the top, two on the bottom, I need to uh, go and see if they got a wrench for these banjo nuts, because I don't have a big enough wrench here in my little toolkit, but I got her undone and there's all kinds of creative stuff in there, so that tells me that there was at least some oil in it, it probably shouldn't be seized, so yeah, I'll get her off and get the right wrench to pull those um, banjo nuts off, and then be on our way so I got it off got all the fasteners and whatnot in my pocket but uh yeah basically it's just a little hand pump that uh you pump it like this and that primes it I ended up uh taking the banjo nut off the top of the fuel filter housing because it's easier than fucking uh easier than getting the one off it because of the way it was sitting so I'll have to put it in a vise or something to take it off but I believe basically your fuel goes 
from this lift pump that runs off the injection pump up to the um, fuel filter and then into the injection pump. So yeah, I'm gonna take this home and uh, once I get some time, I'll throw it on my tractor and change the oil and it should be ready to rock. So I'm back at home now and I'll just show you the difference here between these two pumps because if you go into a parts store and try and order a fuel pump for a, uh, a B275, they're gonna give you this thing. And this one goes on the side of the block, runs off the cam. This one runs off this roller on the uh, injection pump. Like it rear runs off the injection pump cam, I believe. So that's the difference. And this one has a little uh, lever on the bottom to pump it. And this one has the pump on the top. And um, as far as I know, they don't make these anymore. I believe you can buy different aftermarket ones. I believe there's one that Bosch makes. And there's a... Uh, like there's a couple different ones that look like they would work, but you don't know if they're right or you might need different banjo nuts. The banjo nuts might be different thread or different size or whatever. But this one came off the same tractor, so fairly confident that it should work. So I'm back out. I got this nice professional work platform here. And uh, I'm going to swap that pump that I took off onto here. So uh, it's pretty, it's exactly the same. Three bolts and then uh, that those two banjo nuts on either side and I think that'll be it. This one has a slightly different um, fuel filter setup than mine or than the other one does. Uh, these lines are different. There was braided lines on the uh, other one, but I don't really think it, it doesn't really make a difference either way. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pull that off and swap it out and uh, while I'm at it too I'm gonna look into whether I can get a fuel filter for this thing too so yeah so yeah I got the two banjo nuts out um, the one on the left is a 13 16th the one on the right is a um, one inch just snap them off with a wrench they'll be fine uh, make sure you don't lose those copper washers because that's what seals the that's what seals the banjo bolts and uh, the only other thing you need is a 3 8 wrench or a 3 8 ratchet with a long socket. I It's easier to use the ratchet with the long socket. The parts tractor didn't have this little uh, thing here above the pump. This one does, so it's easier to get at that with a uh, with a socket. And that's, that's all you need to do to take it off and change it out, which is all I'm doing. Probably should have got a new gasket for it, but oh well. It, the gasket itself that I have doesn't look too bad so I'm just gonna use it so yeah that's it it's in there dog barking away in the background but it's in there and uh, got everything tightened up and should be ready to go I need to uh, I'm gonna pull the battery out charge it up and uh, I need to pull those two wires and hook them together because I lost the uh, lost the key for the master switch because I'm an idiot I lost this master switch key that goes in there, so I just need to uh, fix that, put some diesel in it, change the oil, bleed it, and it should run, but still a little ways off yet. That'll be it for today's video. I'm going to get the rest of the stuff set up that I need to uh, bleed it and get it going and all that, and then that'll be the next, uh, that'll be the part two. Anyway, thanks for watching.